doing well. In this video, I want to show you some of the updates they just released to the Flex Tools. There's a plugin that allows you to add doors, uh, windows, and a bunch of different configurations, uh, stairs, ramps, things like that, to your SketchUp models very quickly. Um, new stuff they came out with, they came out with this new pocket door. So basically, I'm going to um, draw a wall in here and also use this um, Profile Builder 3 quite a bit. Uh, so let's start off by drawing a wall and we'll do, um, it's doing a three and a half, four and a half um, inch wall and we'll make it, uh, we'll say 10 feet. And um, so this is a very fast way to make walls. I'll reverse the face. So you basically draw it along the red, the way you position it, assume you're gonna draw on the red axis. So we'll take this and we will uh, create a new um, 4.5 inch wall. And it goes ahead and adds this profile, this plane to the uh, profile builder. So I'm gonna set the to bottom right snapping I usually do bottom left but I'll do I'll do bottom right just for this time so we'll do this and you now you can just drag this out and you've got a uh, very quick walls here and then once you finish up it cleans up like that so uh, it makes these into a solid object which is nice but it keeps a lot of the properties um, that it previously that is tied into this here. So let's say you were to um, break this and go to 14 feet. Um, you can now actually with this selected, update this and I'll just say um, select all and we'll update all and it raises everything to 14 feet. Um, so now let's add this new pocket door that I came out with from Flex Tool. So we'll add, click this, you can see it um, brings up this and normally you know with SketchUp it's, it's difficult to cut through two planes at the same time but watch what this does boom warning you just placed a wall cutter object into groups strongly recommend use components and not groups so that's a new warning I've never gotten that warning before attempt to automatically convert these groups to components okay so maybe they like this to be a component for some reason. Um, I don't usually draw in components, my walls and stuff. I usually use groups. So we'll see if I continue to get that warning here. But it basically put this pocket door in here, which is nice. And if you go to dynamic tools, uh, component options, you can see it gives you a whole bunch of options for this door here. Uh, you can set the width, the height. Let's do. Um, this template is set up for meters, but I'm gonna change this to like an eight foot. And the nice thing about SketchUp is you can add feet or meters and it automatically converts everything for you. Once you enter in the stuff you want um, to adjust here, you just hit apply with it selected and it changes everything. And you can see normally if you were just to scale this, it would have scaled this um, strangely, uh, but not if you've got flex tools here. So I'm gonna duplicate this object and um, copy it over here and this time I'm just gonna use the scale tool and we'll just make it see this is see if you did that see how you get that weird top and bottom scaling but watch this boom and it fixes it of course this is too small for a regular door but I'm gonna do a happy medium here and it clean it cleans it all up fixes geometry so see if we can show, show this in an open view. Do we want to open it? I'm going to close this and say open and close. So in the flex tool, you can hit this open and close and boom, it opens it. So if you want to show it open in your model, you can uh, do that so you can run right through it. That kind of thing if you're doing an animation or movie. Um, same here, click this, open, it opens it. Now let's flip it. I guess because it's not a um, hinge door, it doesn't flip to the opposite side. 
the way I usually mirror this is I will select it, right click, and say flip along, and we'll do red axis. So now we've got it mirrored there. So as you can see, Flex Tools adds a really quick way to add windows and, um, and doors, all kinds of different doors to your objects, to your uh, models. And the neat thing is you can actually save these and customize them into um, into folders here so this this is all the stuff currently in my model but if I if I go out to find a folder that I have on my network I can pull in all my doors and windows that I'd like to use for various different projects and um, I'll have access to all of those from that project which is really cool and they said that they released an update for this so it'll remember where I was um, last time so let's say I want to add in the same window here I can uh, click that and go there I'm gonna, this tall door that um, you can see it doesn't force you to keep this from conflicting so you just gotta make sure that um, you have the space for that pocket door when you put it in because it's gonna allow it to conflict with other objects and not clean up totally like uh, like some CAD um, programs would have uh, had that safety factor in there. So, all right, that is a quick rundown of Flex Tools, and uh, you can go check it out. I have a link in the video down below. Thanks.